Next, let's talk about some important aspects of designing a logo. Symbolism. When selecting elements of a design, you need to make sure each element in the design is conveying meaning. Let's break down the design elements and symbolism behind each of these logos. The red cross. The symbol is red, which says emergency and aid. Lowe's. It's in the shape of a house or a structure to relay home improvement. Panera bread. Feels organic. There are varied line weights. Feels painted. And the symbol is of a woman cradling bread like it's precious. American Airlines. A wing of a plane is overlapping a red and blue line, which nods at the American flag and also resembles the letter A. Shapes. If you look at popular logos, you're going to see lots of squares, circles, ovals, triangles. So that's always a good place to start with your logo design. Start with some shapes that might bring extra meaning and symbolism to your design. Here's a grid of logos for several companies you might recognize. You can start to see similarities between logos and shapes, colors, fonts, and styles. Typography. The style of your type can really change the feeling and the mood of your logo. So you need to make sure you're choosing fonts that connect with the concept that you're after. If you're creating a logo with type and a symbol, you want to keep the typeface simple so that the symbol can carry the communication load. So let's analyze the type in these three logos. Starbucks has a sans serif font. It's very bold, feels very confident, just like their coffee. Toblerone, that's a multifaceted style. So like their chocolate, which has many layers to the flavor, it has very interesting serifs. And the type, along with the symbol, feels very European because they are a Swiss chocolate brand. Tostitos. The type in this logo is very fun. There's literally a party going on inside the logo. Color. The right color can really drastically change the mood of your logo. So choosing color wisely is very important. Usually you don't want more than three colors. Usually somewhere between one color and three colors in a logo is all you need. So check out some other videos on my channel that relate to logo design, such as the creative process, typography, and design principles. Follow Cry Studio to learn more about graphic design. Thanks so much.